Hello, welcome to another episode of the Horror Vision Presents on Shudder. My name is Sean. I'm Missy. And I am Anthony of the Abyss. And we're going to once again recommend a movie that's on Shudder to you guys today. This uh, kind of sub show that we're doing is really meant for people that sign up there's a lot of people that sign up for shutter for joe bob or for whatever and then when the season ends they jump off and they're just you know missy says she sees it all the time in the facebook groups like i don't know what's on shutter that i can watch other than joe bob and i feel like there's quite a bit yeah so we want to tell you about one that honestly so this has been on there since it came out so 2019 and uh 2020 man i watched this then i have not watched it since i i liked it when i saw it quite a bit i did not remember that it is this fucking good like this is might be one of the best movies on shutter in my opinion anthony what movie is that this is anything for jackson tell us a little bit about it this was your pick well, uh, this is one you actually put me on to because I remember the name floating around and wasn't crazy about the title. And uh, we didn't do a complete show on it, but you did bring it up and, me- you know, and mention, you know, recommending it. And I said, okay, I'll give this one a go. And I never regretted it from the day I watched it. It was fucking unnerving. It touches on things that I really like satan and uh you know know, it's uh it's just got the it's so fucking crazy it starts with the it starts off so mundane just this you know and we're are we spoiling at all i don't think we're spoiling this we're just gonna so we're not we're not gonna spoil it but i feel like especially with the intro it's the intro so that's we can talk about it for sure yeah that's where it starts you know it's just this mundane you know elderly couple they're having you know breakfast and you know talking about how their day is going to go and it's just like okay well let's get on with it and two seconds later the elderly gentleman is dragging a pregnant woman into the home and it, it and then you know the the old woman goes and bludgeons her a couple of times to you know help subdue her and you're just like whoa wait what the fuck is going on and it just takes off from there and the places that it goes to you know that there there's just an element of dark humor that goes with that and quite a few uh shocks as far as what you see on screen with with some of the characters um and the elements they're dealing with um but there's a a, a ton of shit in here that's just I'm I'm actually kind of at a loss for words at the moment just because of how good it is. There's quite a few things you want to touch on and and, and pull pull from to talk about, but we're not going to spoil all of that stuff here. Because again, this is one of those ones that we really hope that those that are paying for the service will go sit down and watch. If you're yeah. looking to be unnerved and you're looking to see something that's definitely outside the realm of you know your typical uh, well. Satanist film. Um, it's uh, you're 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 gonna get quite a fucking treat here. There's amazing acting in here. Um, Julian Richings, holy fuck! Yeah, this guy steals the scene, the the, the scene in so many different, uh, so many different parts of the film. Uh, one toward the end where there's just this brief dialogue between you know the the main uh, protagonist and and his character henry and just this the the places he goes to in that one you know little speech that he talks about still fucking freaks me out to this day and some of the line the the line delivering in that is outstanding i really can't fucking say enough good things about this movie this is definitely one that kind of you know it slipped under the radar and for those who are in the know are you know totally fucking love it i don't know anybody that's fucking said anything negative about this film mm-hmm. but it's definitely one of those ones like i said that slipped slipped below the radar that a lot of people may have missed and it's still on there to this day uh it's not on the home screen i had to search for it instead yeah instead of you know, going through 
swaths of different films to find it, but it's still there. And it's definitely worth your time. What is it, uh, an hour 37? And, yeah, um, it was about an hour and a half. And you're not bored through this movie at all. And there's always something new that's going to pop up that is just, you know, there to freak you out and keep you enamored. That's definitely why I chose the film. Uh, and I'm glad that you turned me on to it, Sean. And uh, I think by the time I got a hold of it, I found out it was re being released on Blu-ray maybe about a month later, which I did. And I made sure to add to my collection as well, just in case, you know, world goes boom. I've got my copy. <laughs> and yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's just a fantastic film to to sit down and watch with the most unlikeliest of characters that you would ever think of seeing on screen paired together and uh you know it's just fantastic film again this is one of those ones i just don't have I, i'll run i don't have any bad things to say about it. it's fantastic it's it's amazing watch it yeah i'm really glad you picked it 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 slipped under my radar i had not seen it until i watched it like two days ago really um, this is the first time yep. for you okay Yep, I missed it. Um, I mean, I remember when it popped up on Shutter, but um, based on the subject matter, it's something I would probably avoid. Um, there are exceptions. Like, I really do like the movie Inside, but I'm... All right. I'm a gore hound. Nothing bothers me, but anything to do with, like, pregnancy or birth or any of that, it gives me the heebie-jeebies, and I avoid it. Um, and so I probably avoided it just based on the synopsis that they okay. were kidnapping this pregnant woman. But um, I I was in immediately. It was fantastic. Um, I love Julian Richings. I'm a diehard Supernatural fan, and he's death from Supernatural, so I already knew him well. Okay. Um, but and I don't know the name of the leading lady, but him and the old lady. The two of them have fantastic chemistry. Yeah, they do. They're great together when they're like bickering about shit. They sound like my parents. <laughs> and they just, they sound like this sweet, innocent old couple. And yet they're holding this woman hostage and doing satanic rituals on her. <laughs> so I mean, I. I, and I didn't read anything about it. I just knew the synoptic because you both told me to go in blind. And, and that opening. I thought it was great. Yeah, that opening is intent. So an opening that good will snare your viewer, right? But then you got to keep them. And, there, you know, there are movies that have these fucking unbelievable openings. And then lose, you know, it, not a horror movie, but the one that always comes to mind. It's one of my favorite openings in any fucking movie is Way of the Gun. And, and I've never, <laughs> I don't think I've, I've seen never that. been able to finish the fucking movie. It just, it's, <laughs> I, I just think that the opening should be a short film. I just, I don't, maybe one day I'll try again. It's been a long, long time, but that it's like, it's so good. It defeats the rest of the movie. That's the problem okay. with an opening, like a super strong opening can undermine the rest of your movie, right? This just, I mean, they just think around corners in this like okay. satanic ritual, whatever horror genre. They think around, like they think around the subject in ways that I'm like, nobody's ever thought of doing shit like this. And man, I, uh, Sheila McCarthy, that's the name of uh, Audrey. That's the actress. She's okay. in a bunch of shit. Die Hard 2, Day After Tomorrow. Uh, okay. I don't know. I mean, she's one of those people. Like, I knew I I knew I knew had seen her before. She looked familiar, yeah. but I didn't know why. Uh, and then Julian Richings. She's, I mean, this guy has, uh, just talk about a long storied career. Like, so many, like, of late, he was great and vicious fun. Uh, he was in Spare Parts, Anything for Jackson. Those are all within, like, a year of each other. He's Heinrich Van Fux in Von Fux in Doom Patrol. If anybody watched that, fucking great. I didn't realize it was him. Channel Zero, it's, he's in Butcher Block. He's the gardener. He's just in a lot of stuff. The weird thing is, so the director, Justin G. Dick, or Dyke, I don't know how it's pronounced, but uh, 
his credits are like mostly like it looks like wet like rom-coms or wedding movies. like if there's creep show two episodes and then like romance in the wilds christmas in the wilds a christmas exchange christmas in the rockies love and harmony valley pony sitters club the wedding planners love by accident baby in a major like what the is fuck? this like hallmark shit or... <laughs> yeah it, i don't it know is. I, it looks just, like it I his entire so career <laughs> like literally i i'm going back and it's just it's like Hometown Holiday, Christmas of the Prince, Christmas of the View, My Perfect Romance, Christmas Wedding, Her Best Friend from Heaven, A Very Country Christmas, 48 Christmas Wishes. It's like, what the fuck? So he must have just been like, fuck Christmas and God, let's make the most satanic <laughs> shit imaginable. That's wonderful. You know? Oh, yeah. I fucking love yes. it. Dude, uh, and, and it's not, oh, you know it, Another another accolade here has to go to Josh Crudas as Ian. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> and Anthony is right. There's an element of dark humor to this. I feel like especially with Ian. That shit was but, funny. But it's not. There it's it's really like guarded about it's 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 not. Like it's there, but it is not presenting it comedically at all. No, it's not. But it kept making me laugh. Yeah, it made me laugh, especially Ian. Where you know, yeah. you want something to eat, him. Mom? <laughs> Don't ever doubt him again in my presence. <laughs> this grimoire they have, which I love the way. I mean, it looks. It almost looks like at, at first. I'm like, are they holding like a bunch of like paper towels? Like it just looks so dilapidated and like the story where it's like well i you know i one museum curator recommended another one blah 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 and then i had to fly to jerusalem and then i but you know and then like that line comes up like this might be the oldest book in the world that like i thought that was just a nice like whole like wow like it introduced this element of like man they're really thinking about the way that they're presenting this um mm -hmm. the the scene i won't go into specifics but where julian richings comes home and the the crow like his wife is doing the thing with the crow and i was like mm -hmm. oh you know like i don't know and then just now i i don't want i i don't even want to say it because it because i didn't remember there's something very early on where it's like you see something and then you realize like, oh no, oh shit, nobody else is fucking seeing this. Oh my God. Like, I don't know, really, 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 man. Dude, Anthony, you're right. like, I had forgot about this movie. Like this movie is not on any of the main pages. It's just been on there too long. So stuff, it's the thing with Shudder and like why I definitely feel like there's enough stuff. It's it's no longer in any way curated. It's just like every other streamer in, in that like, they're producing movies, they're acquiring movies, they're putting it on there, but th there's nobody saying like, oh, this, not that. You know, like movies, big thing is like, they're curating this, right? And it's a smaller collection. When you get to the size of what Shutter has in its catalog, it's no longer curated. And they do have guest curator spots and like, we, you know, maybe one day we, we could be one of them, I don't know. Uh, but this movie deserves to be fucking seen and i feel like there's a lot of people mm -hmm. that miss this i really think there's a lot of people that miss this agreed i do too especially since the type i don't really like the title either and then the thumbnail is very just basic it just kind of shows the actors faces like it's real easy to overlook i if you hadn't picked it i had completely forgotten about it and kind of already discounted it and I, I thought it was great. And so I'm glad you picked it. Yeah, mixed with the gore and just some of the line delivery. And there's certain lines of dialogue in here that are just fucking chilling. There's some great, there's so much great stuff going on with this flick. And um, again, it's just, it's one I'm happy to own. I'm, I'm glad that we're able to revisit it tonight. And what Shad told me about what the subject of, of this particular show is, is to kind of highlight some of those things. Yeah, this was just a perfect candidate for it. And um, we're glad that we were able to uh, share it with y'all listeners tonight. So please, for those of you that are paying for the service, uh, definitely look this one up if you haven't heard of it. It's on there. It's been on there for years. 
and it's again it's not one that's often talked about and it will uh it'll fucking spook you it will it had a couple things that spooked me i'm so happy you picked this yeah me too uh missy as a first time viewer, anything else you want to say about it no i feel like this one the less you know the better off you'll be yeah the shit that got me was not anything i was expecting nice I will just say, I feel like if there's people out there that are fans of Channel Zero, something about this reminds me of Channel Zero. I don't know what it is exactly. Like, Channel Zero has a... They also... A lot of those seasons tend to really, like, just take a very weird approach to horror, and it works. And I feel like this is like a... Just got a, it comes from a similar place. But uh, as far as I know, there's nobody involved in this that's involved in that. So, But yeah, so uh, on Shudder... Anything for Jackson, just go go watch it. Turn off all the lights, maybe smoke a hog leg or fucking pour a drink and uh get ready. Yeah, hold on. And uh we'll be back to tell you more good stuff from people who care on Shutter. I'm Sean. I'm Missy. I'm Abysmal Anthony. And uh we'll do anything for Jackson. Murder virus. Available where books are sold.